you can now see that I've got my three separate drawers and my unit. So um, what then I would like to do is to go over and with the paint bucket tool, I'm going to find some wood effect and scroll down. And even though they're not necessarily this color to begin with, I'm gonna find a color just to put on there, like a nice texture. And I'm just going to color all of my unit in that color. Now there's a few things I'm gonna to need to edit with this. So again, using that knowledge that we had before with our editing, we go back to the home button over here and then go to the very bottom because it will be the last one I put in. Select that and can you right click? No, you can't. So you have to then go back up to the top, which is a bit of pain, and then edit material. Now I know, because I've done this before, that I need to reduce the amount of numbers down so I can see a bit of grain, but my units are yellowy, Ooh, not that yellow, um, but they are kind of, and this is the tricky bit, just trying to find a color that's not completely disgusting and, and not what you've got, but mine are kind of somewhere around that color. And zoom out a little bit just to see how I feel about that. Yeah, that could be fine. And then the beauty is I can also color in everything else that's on that desk, that color. So all of a sudden, all of my units look like that. The final challenge would be for you guys possibly to go and search for a handle. Um, go and find a handle that you could then put on there and that would be the real finishing touch so it looked like a really professional way of designing your furniture. Good luck.